Next, we go to this image, which some folks have already been putting it into the chat and other and other uh, and other uh, peripheral smears. Yes, the the classic poker chips, the red blood cells stacked like poker chips, and and you all are correctly pointing out that this is rouleau. These are rouleau formations. That's absolutely right, rouleau. Um, and I see some folks putting in the chat the disease that's associated with uh, rouleau that's tested on um, the uh, step one and complex examinations. What disease might that be? It's a plasma cell dyscrasia. Folks are putting in the chat multiple myeloma. We already went over the CRAB criteria. Just to say that again, remember that you have lytic bone lesions, that's the B in CRAB, which can lead to the hypercalcemia. You can also have renal involvement. Classically, you know, the, uh, the word that the buzzword that's used is the Bence Jones proteinuria. Um, so that's why you test both a serum protein electrophoresis, the SPEP, but you also test the urine for protein. That's the UPEP, ur uh, urine uh, electrophoresis. Perfect. And of course, to make this diagnosis, you would then do a bone marrow biopsy. You want to see a certain percentage of the plasma cells. Let me give you a slightly different twist to this. What if I told you that this patient had vision issues or that they had evidence of hyperviscosity? What disease would I be referencing? Still a plasma cell dyscrasia. And you all are absolutely right. What I would be talking about there would be Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. And instead of IgG or IgA, which are common in multiple myeloma, I would be looking at IgM, the pentameric uh, aminoglobulin. And because it's so big, it can lead to hyperviscosity um, syndromes, sometimes presenting with like chest pain because the hyperviscosity is not allowing perfusion of the heart. The tiny little blood vessels in the eye um, can lead to retinal issues and vision issues. So that's Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So we went over all of this. Um, the key association, the thing you need to know is the associated uh, association with multiple myeloma. And in case understanding why this happens helps it stick in your memory, I'll just point out that all of these proteins, I mean, it's just an, an enormous amount of protein in the blood. And as we know, proteins are made of amino acids, which have positive and negative charges. And when you have uh, so many of these proteins around with all of these charged uh, side chains, um, that alters the electrostatic charges. It alters the way the red blood cell membranes are um, associating with one another. And um, for that reason, it can lead to the formation of these rouleaux, the, the so-called poker chips. Great work, everyone.